Vår nästa gäst kom till Finland som flykting för 25 år sedan när inbördeskriget i Somalia bröt ut. Hon är den första somaliska flyktingen som har lagt en magisters avhandling och nu är hon inne på sin förlåt magisters examen och nu är hon inne på sin doktors avhandling. Dessutom är hon fyra barns mamma och för ett år sen meddelar hon officiellt att hon kommer att ställa upp i presidentvalet i Somalia 2016. Fadumo Daib, welcome to our show. Thank you. So about a year ago you made it official that you're going to run for president in Somalia to 2016. Yes. What are the possibilities for a so to say outsider become elected president in Somalia? Well, I think the possibilities are, are quite good. Um, and if you say an outsider, I don't actually see myself as an outsider because although I've been away from the country, I left in um, 1990, but I went back in 2005 and 2006. I worked inside Somalia and I am very well versed with with the situation inside the country to the extent where I actually feel like I have, I am inside the country on a daily basis. So I think the possibilities are very high. Somalia is looking forward to having a president that is actually capable, that is people oriented, that wants to do something for the country. And so I think the possibilities are very good for someone like me to, to come to office. Tell me about the response that you've got also from Somalia, but also from, uh, from outside Somalia. Um, the response has been very touching, particularly from um, Somalia and from Somalis. Uh, majority of them who are women as well as young people and from the marginalized communities, they've been very, very, as well as some, you know, um, highly educated uh, men and uh, understanding men have been very supportive as well. So I have quite a, a big um, support base inside Somalia, but also in the diaspora. And globally, the response has been very, very overwhelming, positively overwhelming. Um, and, and so there are people who are actually wishing Somalia well at the global level, and that's where that support comes from. But also inside Somalia, people who want to see change and who really see that change in me and who are very supportive of my policies and what I want to do for Somalia. You run your campaign from here, from Finland? Um, I, I am actually not in one place. I travel very extensively, but this is where my family lives. I run my campaign on social media. And, and only on social media, is that so? Um, I do it on social media and also to a certain extent going to some places in the diaspora. I do this because that's the only way I can stay alive at this point of time. Would you like to elaborate to stay alive? Yes. Well, everyone, I, I'm sure, knows the situation inside Somalia. You need to have really a strong security arrangement in place. I don't have the means, the financial means, to go inside Somalia and do my campaign safely. Mm. So if I were to go there at this point of time, without that financial support, it would actually mean getting myself killed in the process. So I do it because I don't have an option. And so far it has worked well for me. But they, there has to be a time when I'm capable of going inside my country to make a change for my people without having to lose my life. Yeah. What are the main changes that you would like to see in your country? I would like to see our children being able to go to school. I want every child to have free access to education. I want our youth to have access to vocational education, livelihood means, so that they don't have to cross the seas, die trying to get to the West. I want a country whereby our basic infrastructure is good, the roads, buildings, bridges. I want a country where healthcare is accessible to all, irregardless of their status of class. I want a country whereby security is really in a good um, state so that we don't have to fear for our lives. Going to work, going outside to the shops, you know, doing the basic things that people take for granted in the West. I want to see a country where there's economic prosperity, where we are able to live off our mineral resources. Somalia is a well-resourced country. 
So I want a Somalia that is prosperous, that is forward-looking. And those are the changes I want to make. Economic empowerment or development and, you know, security. Mm. And of course, sustainable peace. I know one of your most important um, um, meetings that you had is with the Liberian president, Ellen Sirleaf, uh, Johnson, Johnson Sirleaf. Tell me about the, the what did you say, meeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that you had with her. Well, I, I met um, President Sirleaf through my work. I was with the UN. And she was also the mentor for a joint program which was for adolescent girls, vulnerable adolescent girls. She was the mentor for that joint program which I managed on behalf of um, the UN in Liberia. It was a very, it was a very touching moment for me to be able to see her because she was the first female uh, African president. And to be able to see the country in itself coming together because Liberia is somehow if you look at it, very similar in context to Somalia. You know, the reconstruction, the rebuilding, people were really being very optimistic, things were working. And I thought to myself, after having spoken to her, why can't we do the same for, for Somalia? And why can't I take the initiative and do that? So she inspired me by being a role model, but also the country and the Liberians inspired me as well. So I could see in my mind what Somalia would look like if we were given that opportunity. Mm. Mm -hmm. How much do your potential voters know or, <clears throat> or, or care about your connections to, to Finland and, and uh, Europe? Well, I think um, the potential voters have their own issues to grapple with. Poverty is a big issue inside Somalia. People are fearing for their lives. You know, their kids are not able to go to school. They can't even put bread on their, on their tables. They really are not able to really look at people, you know, like, oh, this person is in Finland, you know, what are they going to do for me? Because the possibility of even going out and voting for someone like me or for somebody else is a far away notion in their minds. And, you know, someone from the diaspora running for office inside Somalia isn't a new thing. They know, because almost 70% of um, the people in the government who hold ministerial positions come from the diaspora. It's a very controversial issue inside the country. You left. You left us. Mm. We stayed behind. We were killed. We were raped. We starved. And now that we are trying to make sense of the situation and we're trying to move forward, you are coming back to take my job to take leadership, why would you do that? So I try, I try to really um, mitigate that mm. by saying I'm not coming to take anything from you. On the contrary, I want to stand beside you and try to make Somalia a better place for all of us. I didn't leave you because I wanted to. I had to go because I feared for my life. And I shouldn't be made to feel guilty because I decided to stay alive, alive, and I had the means to do that. So let me stand beside you and work with you to make this country a better place for our children. It's not for you, it's not for me. It's for our children and their children. I would like to know something about your, <clears throat> uh, your ambitions, because uh, what I understood you grew up both in Kenya and, and Somalia, and you learn to read as late as 14. What has made you so amazingly ambitious? You have uh, an amazing career, you have four kids, and now this coming up. Opportunity. I'm sure, 100% sure that there are many girls, women like me, boys even, in developing countries, the only thing they lack is opportunity to do the things that I was capable or able to do. Now, the only, the opportunities that I speak about is education. I had a, a mother who really inst inst instilled that and, you know, supported me to make sure that I got that education. But in addition to that, this Finnish government gave me the opportunity to do that. 
there are a lot of people like me, but who have not had that opportunity to get that key to life. And one of the reasons why I am inspired, motivated to run, is to give them those opportunities that I had. Because I can see what you can achieve with education. If anyone has any doubt, they look at me. I'm an example of that. And it's exactly those opportunities that are in the West that I want to give to Somalia and to fellow Somalis. We wish you all the luck for the campaign and for, for running the, to be president. Thank you. Thank you for much. coming. Thank, Thank you. you.